We're going off to the Peak District now, though, to join Yorkshire Shepherdess Amanda Rowan, who you may well have seen on Channel 5's Our Yorkshire Farm. This week, she's one of our guest reporters, and first up, she heads off to meet Sally Hall and lend a hand at her 650-strong dairy farm. Come on, in you go. Come on. Sally Hall grew up on this 1,000-acre dairy farm. She's the third generation of Halls to work here. We're here today to meet Sally and uh, to have a look around her dairy farm. 20 years ago, this is what I used to do, so we'll see how things in the world of dairy have changed. Hi. Hi, Amanda. You must be Sally. Nice to meet you. And you as well. And she's rightly proud of her herd. Good luck. We milk 700 cows here. Mm -hmm. They're all yeah. animals that we've reared ourselves right from calves. Yep. And we make about a tanker full of milk every day. I mean, you shouldn't have favourites, but you know, they're, they're familiar faces and they come up and say hello every now and again. Oh, exactly. So, it, so the feed's all made on site every day by ourselves. It smells quite nice, actually. What you got? It smells of molasses or something. Yeah, there's actually some byproducts from uh, whiskey distillery in here. <laughs> I, knew <there> was something, <laughs> I knew there was something familiar in there. <laughs> have you ever heard of Happy Lines? No, go for it. When they get the lines, you can just see across the river yeah. going that way. Okay. That's when uh, they're happy, they're being fed as well as possible. Really? A little bit like a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I've got those, but I call them stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that on the tractor? So that was Evie. She's one of the uh, girls that works on the farm. Fantastic. We've got a bit of a girl thing going on here, I can see. Yeah, well, it just, it's about 50 50. Whoever's best suited to the job, and there's a Pretty even split here. Although there's an argument that women's maternal instincts make them even better farmers. Especially the process of lactation and giving birth. I do believe maybe sometimes we have the upper hand. Everyone you know, has their strengths and weaknesses, but I do think that probably on balance that the women are more empathetic. Exactly. With the... We will have a sheep with mastitis and you know she has a very sore udder. Mm. I've had it, I've been there. <laughs> Handle with care, extreme care. They look very content. Yeah, so they actually have coats. They've got fresh bedding every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the access to food and water all the time, as mm -hmm. well as the milk twice a day. What's not to like? Well, <laughs> I do think they live in sometimes better than I do. <laughs> These will be a bunch that will be mm -hmm. uh, you know, friends for life now as such. They're all born within a few days of each other. Once fully grown, they'll join the milking herd, producing 25,000 litres of milk every day. I can't believe how much you've got going on here. It's like overload. Yep. We can see on the, the screens how much milk they're given per minute. And the computer tells us if that's like a usual quality right. or if, it, if the cow's starting to get poorly before we can tell. That's amazing. So Things have moved on definitely. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. You want to see a go? Looks like it. Do I have a choice? No. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Long time since I did this. It never leaves you. <laughs> I don't think you'll be giving me a job anytime soon. But oh, okay. yeah, I feel natural. <laughs> so this is actually the maternity area up here. This is where the cows come up here to give birth. And it just looks like we've got one starting now, actually, just down here. And they're all her friends, really. She's got birthing partners. Yeah, birthing partners. Look at that. She's pushing on now. Things are happening. Yeah. I'll just uh, yeah. give her a hand. Come on, then. Push. That's the old straw up the nose trick. Yeah, I think we're going to need that. <laughs> there we go, we're breathing. That's a big calf. Yep. And it's had a boy. Yep. And it's had a boy. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get up? Come on, then. You've got to say that that is the perfect end to a pretty perfect day, actually. It's been really good. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Sally is a really inspirational young woman and it's clear that her cows are her number one priority. The fact that she's a woman doesn't even come into it. In fact, I think it makes her an even better farmer. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. And like, comment, share your friends and family members. By your lovely Nancy.